In this question, we have a diagram that a student has drawn, a correct Bohr diagram for a neutral atom. So we need to use the diagram to answer the questions. The first question asks how many electrons are in this neutral atom? So this one's easy, we just need to literally count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. So we can add that here. We've got six electrons in total. Next it asks, what element does this neutral atom belong to? So at this point we have to remember, since it's neutral, the number of electrons and the number of protons will be equal. So if we have six electrons, that means we must have six protons. And now we can head to our periodic table and look for something that has six protons. So that means it's gonna have an atomic number of six. So I'm looking along to find an atomic number of six. Here it is. So carbon, that's our element with atomic number six, meaning it has six protons. So I can select now, what element does this belong to? This is a carbon atom, since it's a neutral atom. Okay, next, how many electrons are in each energy level of this neutral atom? Okay, well, the first energy level is the one closest to the nucleus. So this is our first energy level, and we've got one, two electrons in there. Oops, two, there we go. Our second energy level is the one that's second closest to the nucleus. So that's the second one we can see here. And we've got one, two, three, four electrons there. And then the third energy level isn't shown on the diagram because there are no electrons in it. So in this one, there are zero electrons in the third energy level. The next question asks, how many valence electrons does this neutral atom have? So valence means outer energy level. So in the outermost energy level, here that's energy level two, we have one, two, three, four electrons. So we've got four valence electrons for this neutral atom. Lastly, it asks what group the element is in. So we can go check in the periodic table. And remember the group is the column. So carbon is in group 14. So our group is group 14. But also the valence electrons and the group are related. So if, we're, if we have four valence electrons, we know it's gonna be group 14. It's a little confusing that it's not four. The reason why, if we go back to our periodic table, is that with this new modern numbering system we're using, it goes one, two, and then all of these transition metal elements in the middle are numbers three through 12. And then we go to 13 over here. So in our first few periods, we actually skip out numbers three through 12, we go straight from two with beryllium to group 13 with boron. So you can see it would have one, two, three, four valence electrons, and it would be in group 14. On the other hand, beryllium is in group two, and that would have two valence electrons. 